Okay, so we're here at the Speedgoat 50K, um, the most technical, probably rugged 50K in the country this year anyway. Um, we've got an incredible field. We've got some Europeans. We've got some really fast Americans. Um, it's going to be a really, really fast race. It's very competitive this year. But we, you know, we've got a fair amount of prize money this year. There's an $11,000 prize purse, $2,500 for the winner, $1,000 for second, $500 for third, which is not a huge amount. Um, $500 bonus for the record, which is 5 hours, 43 minutes, 20, 20 seconds. Um, and 608 in change for the women. Um, the real catch, though, um, is that there's a $1,000 bonus to the peak, which is mile 8.3, 4,500 foot climb. Um, but they have to break 6 hours and 30 minutes or 7 hours. Um, you can't rally to the peak and just slog it in. So... That's one of the things that I kind of um, kind of enjoy watching. I hope a few race to the peak, you know, for that $1,000. Um, other than that, and, you know, on top of all that, folks, it's a skyrunning series event, which is really cool. This is a, a series event that's gone, it's gone worldwide now. It's global. It's happening in Europe. It's happening in Asia. It's happening in... Uh, Canary Islands at Transvolcania, where D Dakota Jones won. Um, Dakota Jones, the master. Um, anyway, it's, it's, it's a really big event worldwide. So the Spiegel 50K is now the first ultra marathon in the United States involved with the Skyrunning Series. And uh, we hope that that becomes an event for the future. It's going to be a big media event. And uh, yeah, we're proud to be part of it, and we're really glad they contacted us on having the event. Yeah, and, and, and here are a couple of my picks for the winners. Um, um, I really don't know. There's a lot of fast runners in this race. There's about 20 guys who could probably win it on a really great day. But the bottom line is there's a few favorites. We'll talk about those real quick, and then, uh, hey, we'll take it from there, you know. Um, it's a real mountain race. 11,600 feet of climbing. I threw in a little twist up Mount Baldy. People are going to love that. And uh, so, anyway, here we go. Um, who's my favorite? Everyone knows King Killian Journey is uh, our favorite for the race. Killian excels at pretty much every distance from 100 miles to the vertical kilometer challenge. Um, he kind of beats everybody most of the time. Nobody wins everyone, everything, but at the same time, um, we'll call him the favorite here at the race. Um, so my pick at number one is Killian Journey. Number two would be Anton Krupitska. Um, I spoke with the, uh, Anton last week at Jerker's wedding, <laughs> and uh, he's looking really fit. He claims he's at a 10 on a 1 through 10 scale of being really fit. So uh, I really consider the race be be between between you know Killian and uh, Anton as far as winning the race, but at the same time, uh, again, there's a lot of guys that could contend. So I'm going to look at my little list here and tell everybody what I think. Um, Killian Jornet number one, Tony Kupitska number two, a close close race to the end. Um, number three is Ricky Gates, Mount Washington winner a couple of times. He's fast. 100 miles, I wouldn't say Ricky number third, number three, but at the same time, uh, Ricky is really fast to center. He can put himself out front early to win the $1,000 bonus at the peak. Um, so Killian, Tony, Ricky Gates, um, next on my list, Dylan Bowman, Jason Schlarb, Max King, Max or Gary Robbins. Uh, Max King, probably the fastest road marathoner of all, 215-ish. Brian, something Ish. like that, best marathon time. What does that mean here? Not a lot, but uh, you know, if he can run technical terrain, it means a lot at the same time. But uh, I think he'll fall a little behind Killian and Anton and uh, and Ricky. Dylan Bowman has run really fast all spring. He'll be really fast um, again. What is his what is his technical terrain? Um, strength, you know, is he really good at technical stuff? We really don't know that right now. We'll find out when he drops into Mary Ellen Gulch. Um, so we'll see kind of what happens there. Gary Robbins, um, hurt 100 mile record holder, 2028. 
faster than Jeff Rose. We know Jeff is fast. Um, so Gary, if he's if he's fit, he'll run really fast too. I kind of pick him sixth or seventh. Nick Clark, previous winner. Um, he's faced Nick Petitella, Joe Grant here at the Speed Goat. Nick hasn't raced that much in the in you know in the last couple months, so Nick Nick could be fast. Joe should be tired. Nick Petitella should be tired, both from Hard Rock. Um, so I don't really expect those guys to contend later on. I expect Joe to hang tough early, but we'll see. Um, you know, then we start the rest of the list, which that is already a crazy list. Um, we've got Tom Lourblanchette. Uh, I've been informed that he's in great shape. Uh, Frenchman, he's going to be really fast. You know, he doesn't, he's seen the course a little bit. Um, so we'll see. Doesn't call it that technical. I beg to differ. We'll see what happens. Phil Ryder, another guy from uh, Germany. I really don't know Phil very well. So I don't know what his strengths and weaknesses are. But um, I think the mix of European runners is a great, is a great, you know, makes the field that much better. So we'll see what happens there. And then on top of that, all those people I've already mentioned, we've got Jason Loudit, Ben Lewis, Jason Bryant, Justin Ricks, Brett Mon, winner of uh, winner of Barkley. I mean, is Barkley the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. But at the same time, it's a uh, it's a tough, hard race, and I think Brett could probably persevere. Probably run 15th, 16th place, something like that. Jorge Maravilla. Um, Jorge, he emailed and he said, "Hey, is the course technical? Is it smooth? Is it rocky?" And I said, "Huh." probably sees you a little bit lower because you asked that question because it's probably technical so <laughs> anyway Jorge I love you but uh, we'll see how it goes I know you got the speed but we'll see how that pans out um, Andrew Andy Dorea Doris I hope that's right Andy um, he's a local guy here in Salt Lake that has done some pretty amazing things completely off the radar from uh, you know from this race but at the same time he's he finished top ten at Speed Goat before. He knows the gig. He knows it's hard. Um, that guy might run top six, seven, eight, five, whatever. Um, people are like, who is he? But he's another local Salt Lake guy that's pretty fast. And there's a lot of those people around here. Um, James Bonnet. He thinks under five hours will win it. Nah, I don't think so, James. Um, Sean Blanton. Oh, yeah. From uh, near Atlanta, near Atlanta, Georgia, um, likes tough things. We'll see how it pans out. Sean Meisner, Jason Moyer was sixth or seventh. That's the men's field. The women's field goes right to Anna Frost. She she'll be pretty quick. I think she's the one to beat. Bethany Lewis may challenge her. Tina Lewis will be right behind her. And other than that, the women's field isn't like uh, crazy deep, strong. Sarah Evans locally should be pretty fast. But other than that. Um, just watch your Twitter, Twitter feed and run it from there, you know, so good luck. <laughs>